Greetings to you all and welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we'll be looking at the topic, Who is on the Lost Side? The story of the golden calf in Exodus chapter 32 is very tragic. In spite of all the extraordinary display of God's power for the deliverance, the children of Israel refuted to idolatry, making for themselves a calf god of gold and worshipping it as the one which brought them out of Egypt. To bring them out of Egypt, the Lord has sent ten powerful plagues upon the land of Egypt and upon all their gods, even to the striking of every of their firstborn. Pharaoh expelled them with immediate effect, even when he realized his mistakes and went after them with the full force of Egyptian chariots. The Lord showed that he was God and that no one could fight him and win. The Red Sea parted and Israel passed through on dry ground, but the entire Egyptian cavalry drowned in the Red Sea. Before this incident, they had seen the power of God on many other occasions. Manna from heaven was provided for them for 40 years in Exodus chapter 16 verse 35. In Exodus chapter 17, 1 to 7, they drank water that gushed out of the rock. Moses had received the Ten Commandments of God to guide them. But in spite of all these, they made their own idols and began to worship them while Moses was up in the mountain with God. In our own time today, there are those who started with God as Christians and then later reverted to what they have left behind. You cannot win if you do that. The Apostle Peter described it as the dog turning back to his own vomit and the pig that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Standing on the side of the Lord requires you to stand tall and strong in the face of any challenge, knowing fully well that God will never leave you. It requires that you do not bow to pressure. You always give God praises for the ones he has done. All through the ages, those who stood on the Lord's side have always been in the minority. They were in the minority in the days of Noah. They were in the minority at the destruction of Sodom. They were in the minority who went to war with Gideon. The same condition is applicable in our war today. Those who are on the Lord's side are in the minority. Those who walk in the narrow way are in the minority. Those who believe and practice holiness without which no man shall see the Lord are in the minority. Only eight people were saved during the time of Noah. Only three people were rescued from Sodom during the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Out of thousands that came out to go to war with Gideon, only 300 were ready. The disciples of Christ deserted him at the crucifixion. If all the people that were able to stand on the side of the Lord in the Bible belong to the minority, our own cannot be an exception because it's the same race we are all running. May God help us to stand on his own path in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for watching. Please like share and subscribe. Bye for now.